let's go back to the beginning of the episode we've just seen. Uh, Discovery crash lands on a planet. Now, the last time I saw a starship crash land on a planet, it was my starship and we did not come out of it very well. Um, and it was traumatic and upsetting to me to watch Discovery crash land. Um, I am wondering just uh, because I'm speaking to fellow Star Trek actors on the shake scale as the ship was coming down, did you land with a 10? <laughs> Uh, you know, right? Those, those, uh, all, turmoil on the bridge is uh, is probably my least favorite thing because I, I want to be authentic about it, but you just feel so silly in the moment, don't you? You really do, <laughs> you know, well, yeah. especially when you're wearing a pair of hooves, like Doug is. <laughs> like, just, it must literally be terrifying for you. Yeah, but it, I think I think that crash landing. I think all of us were even th uh, for the first instead of just like doing the usual countdown: three, two, one, left; three, two, one, right. Uh, instead of doing that kind of thing, uh, we did full on tumbling out of, you know, over consoles, out of chairs. That, that was, that was the, probably the most a athletic crash landing or a, a crash or, or turbulence we've I've done. For sure. Yeah, I did a lot of hair acting, which I found to be my friend in the shaking scenes. The you pony did. really, you know, I can really sell it with the with the <laughs> high ponytail. Because you brought it up. <laughs> I love the evolution of Tilly's hair on Star Trek Discovery. Come on. I love it so much. Was this something that you talked about with the showrunners or was, did they bring it to you? I, I just, I'm just curious, like, this is not a deep acting question. This is a curious fan question. Tell me the well, story of Tilly's amazing hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think that hair does a lot of storytelling on our show. <laughs> like everyone evil has straightened hair <laughs> pretty consistently. Um, I really um, bristled under the very tight bun of the first season. I found it very unflattering. But yeah. I think the idea was that Tilly at this point is like a really by the book um, individual. And so it kind of makes sense that she's all tucked in and kind of, I feel like as she finds herself, um, she lets her hair be more part of her container. Um, for me personally, I just, you know, I want to let it all hang out. I want to be do my hair acting. I want my big, huge head of hair out. So selfishly, I think I kind of like pushed it back. <laughs> and with the help I... of um, our, our key uh, hairstylist, Ryan Reed, who is uh, a lover of all curls and did me, did me right. Um, I, uh, you're very lucky. When I was Wesley Crusher, uh, an entire can of hairspray was used every morning to transform me from a uh, 20th century teenager into a 24th century action figure head. And it drove me absolutely crazy. 